So how are you guys? Good. Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, we are good. I'm good. Thanks for having me. I stopped yesterday at legal and other affairs. I'd give some more to you guys. Had to come prepared with certain things, with latest updates, so that you can share. Things share even would be, would be possible. But if you have this PDF, why do you want screen sharing? I'm also reading from that only. By this time, when you're so close to your exam, you must be having your own PDFs. I have nothing different. I have the same PDF as you have. Okay. Yeah. Shall we start? Legal affairs. After finishing this legal affairs, I'll take uh, as much possible as I can the number of questions from this PDF only. That will be your sort of revision again. I'm not audible. Am I audible to all? If yes, then uh, those who can't hear me, those who can't hear me, I'm not audible, then there must be some technical problem at your side. Okay. Okay. If I'm audible, that's good. Cool. Yeah. We have to start legal affairs. First of all, Supreme Court. I think we had done it yesterday. I had asked you guys to do some homework, the latest six landmark Supreme Court judgments in 2020. Have you got that? Did you see? Can you name them? Latest six landmark judgments by Supreme Court and High Court as well. Both are important. If you're not seen, Article 370 in 2020. Article 370 was in 2019. Okay, fine. Or Ashant Bhushan's contempt. Okay, CGI, Sharad Arvin. Okay. Yeah. 
CBI for Sushant here today's uh, decision only by Supreme Court. Right of property to girls, good. Good. To girls, nay, to daughters. Say daughters, not girls. Daughters are girls, but you know, you are widening the scope. Daughters. Say daughters. Yeah. Okay. Then Nirbhaya's case was there. Yeah, who were born before 2005. Babri Masjid Ram Mandir, yes. See, all these things are very, very important to you. Uh, you have to check the uh, landmark judgments by High Court as well for the past, last six landmark judgments. Sabri Mala, okay. Yeah, CBA against my SSR. This is today's decision only. You guys are uh, so updated. That's very uh, nice, actually. Okay. There's some problem. technical problem again and again my video is being disconnected okay yeah so some recent important judgment by supreme court of india page number 77 page number are you have you opened page number 77 you have told me some recent judgments by Supreme Court. They are important. Other two cases, uh, if you remember, we had done it earlier also. NGOs receiving substantial financing. Substantial financing from government come under RTI Act. So Supreme Court gave the decision that NGOs receiving substantial financing they come under RTI Act. RTI means right to information. This judgment was given by Supreme Court that NGOs receiving substantial financing. No, Supreme Court has uh, explained what substantial financing is. Substantial financing is not only the you know uh, direct uh, the direct uh, contribution by the government towards the NGO, the cash contribution. It, it is direct as well as indirect contribution, which can come under the definition of substantial financing. Right? This was the decision. And if somebody uh, has contributed for good cause as donations to the NGOs, so he has got a right under RTI Act to know uh, what uh, towards um, which cause this amount would be utilized. Um, that was the only case about. NGOs were saying that since this is not substantial financing, so they uh, they don't want to do uh, and disclose any information. Uh, they have a privilege to keep the information with them. <coughs> but Supreme Court gave the decision that Financial financing, whether direct or indirect, whether in the form of land or cash 
or any other help by the government to NGO without which NGO would not have started. They could not have started. Their, uh, they could not have run their NGO. All help by the government to support NGO to run their NGO that would come under substantial financing, right? And anybody, any outsider like me and you, any man, any person contributing towards NGO for good cause for social purposes, uh, for social causes. So he has a he has got a right to get the information where his amount would be utilized by NGO. So this was the case about. Next was. This is the case of Rajkumar versus State of Uttar Pradesh. This was accused charged with food adulteration cannot be acquitted merely because deficiency was marginal. This was a case of food adulteration. So what was the apex court's uh, verdict that even if no, what accused uh, said that even if this is adulterated, but it had not caused any harm to anyone. But Supreme Court gave the decision that even if it did not cause any harm, that does not mean that you would not follow the guidelines. Right? So this was the case that in cases of food coming under that, it is not required to prove article of food was injurious to health. In this case, only question to determine is whether article complies with the standards laid down or not. So you have to follow the comply with the standards laid down for towards all these types of foods. That was the decision by Supreme Court. Next is High Court in India. How many High Courts are there in India? There are 25 High Courts in India. Okay. Again, my Google's lost. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. There is again low quality network, so uh, video is being lost. So there are 25 high courts in India. It's a point, uh, important point from your examination point of view. Okay. 25 high courts. Then come to administrative tribunals. Tribunals means courts. Administrative tribunals. If you remember, we had discussed earlier also. Can you tell me now how how much do you remember the administrative tribunals? Tribunals means four. The enactment of administrative tribunals in eighty five opened a new chapter in the sphere of administrative justice to aggrieved government servants. These administrative have been formed to uh, give relief to aggrieved government servants. This is especially for government servants. You can take out or you can write these important points at the side of the paragraph. Administrative tribunals for giving 
जस्टिस टू अग्री गवर्नमेंट सर्वेंट ओनली कौन से गवर्नमेंट सर्वेंट चाहिए लाइक ब्यूरोक्रैट एंड ऑल This is in relation to their recruitment and condition of service, though for those who are appointed to public services and post in connection with the affairs of union and state. Come to page number seventy-nine. Administrative tribunals they have been set up to give justice to Greek government servants. On the government servants, which government servants, and in, in regard to the recruitment and condition of services for the persons appointed in centre and state. Okay. Come to second paragraph. The administrative tribunals, ATs. They exercise jurisdiction. You can mark this only in relation to service matter of the litigants. This is only in relation to the service matters of the litigants. Come to next National Company Law Tribunal (NCLT). National Company Law Tribunal. Constitute NCLT National Company Law Tribunals under Section Four Zero Eight of Companies Act, with effect from June Two Thousand Sixteen. Right. In the first page, Ministry of Corporate, Corporate Affairs, they have set up benches: one principal bench at New Delhi, and ten benches at other ten places. they will be headed by the president and 16 judicial members nine technical members are so nclt national company law tribunals company law tribunals under section 408 of companies act on june in june 2016 they are they are set up under ministry of corporate affairs they have set, they have set up 11 benches one at new delhi 10 at different other places in the country they will be headed by president and 16 judicial members and nine technical members next is nclat national company law appellate tribunal appellate means where you can appeal so those uh, not happy with the A decision or verdict of NCLT. Those were not happy with the NCLT's verdicts, their decisions. They can go and appeal in NCLT National Company Law Appellate Tribunal. Appellate me can appeal. It was constituted under Section 410 of Companies Act. NCLT is also the appellate tribunal for hearing appeals against order passed by NCLTs under Section. Six of insolvency of bankruptcy (IBC) under Section sixty one, under Section two zero two and two one one of IBC. Three sections you can write down. NCLT hears appeal against orders passed with regard to Section sixty one two zero two two eleven of IBC. They also hear and dispose of appeals against any direction issued or decision made or the passed by competition CCI of India. We have read the Competition Commission of India. So any uh, decision appeals against any decision made CCI, they can also go to National Company Law Appellate Tribunal. Right? So. Uh, for which sections you can go to NCLAT for section sixty one, section two zero two to eleven of IBC, and <clears throat> and you can go uh, for the orders passed by CCI, right? Who is the chairperson? 
अच्छा तो इस द ऑनरेबल जस्टिस एस जे मुखोपाध्याय फॉर्मर जज ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट इज नाउ चेयर पर्सन ऑफ एन सी एल पी टी एस जे मुखोपाध्याय राइट communication presentation will be taking tomorrow don't worry we'll be taking it tomorrow to we'll try to clear your doubt if the recent chairperson has been changed that's that's good you are keeping yourself updated whoever is the recent chairperson Write that name only. This is what I have told you to keep yourself updated with the recent change. Next is ICSI. Again, ICSI. Uh, we have done it. UDN is important in ICSI. UDN. You need document identification number. That is for practicing CS. If this video will come and go, please excuse me for that. I can't help it. I'm trying to. Yes, I will do, Vishita. I have planned that. Let me complete this. and stop pouring in your questions or queries in the chat box thank you yeah we should now move on quickly uden is important in icsi yeah turn to current uh, page number 81 current updates on environment biodiversity climate change and sustainable development First is Bhutan introduced sustainable development fee for regional tourists. Please listen to me carefully. Let's move on quickly. Bhutan introduced SDF sustainable development fee for regional tourists. As I told you earlier, also this is the Bhutan is the world's greenest country. You can write down additional points. It is world's greenest country. they come under himalayan nations and 70% of forest cover it has got 70% of forest cover it is a carbon negative country it is a carbon negative country yeah bhutan is world's greenest country Comes under Himalayan, Himalayan one of the Himalayan nations. It has got seventy percent of forest cover. It is a carbon negative country. So it has introduced sustainable development fee for regional tourists. Bhutan has recently introduced this new system of regional tourists called sustainable development fee. Why? Why they even just to sustain their uh, development or their biodiversity. To sustain that, they have put twelve hundred Bhutanese currency per day for for the tourists coming from India, Maldives, and Bangladesh. Now they have to pay twelve hundred Bhutanese currencies per day for their stay. This is why this is so that because the tourists they come and disturb Bhutan's ecology during their trip. So they have put a sustainable fee. Okay, it's twelve hundred Bhutanese currency. This is from July twenty twenty. Supreme Court allowed relocation of African cheetah to India. Next is <clears throat> see Indian cheetah that is deemed extinct. So Supreme Court on petition filed by the National Tiger Conservation Authority (NTCA) they allowed introduction of African cheetah on January twenty eight twenty twenty in. the uh, 
कोनो नेशनल पार्क ऑफ एम पी क्यों कोनो नेशनल पार्क ऑफ एम पी सो दे हैव अलाउड इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एफ्रीकन चीता इन कोनो नेशनल पार्क फ्रॉम जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी पेज नंबर भूटान इंट्रोड्यूस सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट पीस टू प्रोटेक्ट दे बायोडाइवर्सिटी इट इज ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड पर डेज करेंसी फॉर द टूरिस्ट कमिंग फ्रॉम इंडिया मैलडिव एंड बांग्लादेश सेकेंड इज सुप्रीम कोर्ट अलाउड री लोकेशन ऑफ एफ्रीकन चीता टू इंडिया वेर इट इज इन कोनो नेशनल पार्क यूपी राइट नेक्स्ट इज वर्ल्ड ओजोन डे टू थाउजेंड यू नो वॉट ओजोन लेयर इज इट्स अ लेयर which absorbs most of the ultraviolet rays reaching the earth from sun you know that so world ozone day 2019 it is being celebrated on 16 september every year last time it was also celebrated and the uh, the theme was international day for preservation of ozone layer okay theme of sorry theme was 32 years and healing 32 years and healing Why it was done? It was aimed to increase awareness of climate change and ozone depletion. So to protect that ozone layer, it is being celebrated every year on 16th September. This is with regard to the Montreal Protocol. So the he seva 2019, all the drives. Uh, Uh, or the initiatives uh, with respect to swachhta the clean dinners they have been started by prime minister modi only so swachhta hi seva 2019 was launched by him in mathura and the theme was plastic waste fairness and management okay next is ban on single use plastic everybody knows that this was being launched on 2nd october 2019 uh, the purpose was to make india free of single use plastic okay make india free of single use plastic by 2022 again why to ban single use plastic page number 83 only one liner is enough just section 1 this was banned NGT forms panel to examine illegal sand mining in Yamuna River. So, since it's becoming an environmental issue, so sand mining. What is sand mining? It is extraction of sand. So, National Green Tribunal formed committee to examine allegation of illegal sand mining in Yamuna River. Since it's becoming an environmental issue, a basic meeting on climate change. Brazil, South Africa, India, China. Okay. So they uh, they had a meeting on climate change. So they expressed their concern about climate change and its adverse effects. They urged developed nations to fulfill their climate finance commitments to to mobilize hundred billion dollars by twenty twenty four developing nations. You know, it's where again the developed nations they put funds towards the towards such causes. So there was a basic meeting where they requested the developed nations to put funds, which was around uh, this hundred billion dollars, for developing nations. Launch of state rooftop solar attractiveness index page number eighty four. Saral, the full form may come. Saral, state rooftop solar attractiveness index. Now, who launched this scheme? This was launched by Power Minister Mr. R. Singh. So, Union Cabinet Ministers, you have to remember them. Power Minister Mr. R. Singh, he launched this scheme. This is rooftop solar project. So, who stood first for uh, uh, 
in this race, Karnataka was the state which has been placed at the first rank in the index, evaluates India states based on their attractiveness for rooftop development. Telangana, Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh, they have got second, third, fourth rank respectively. Question may come, which state got first rank in Saral or rooftop zonal attractiveness? Okay. Now, latest developments in science, technology, information technology, computers, and space science. 84, last paragraph. RBI launches money app to assist visually challenge to identify currency names. So, from January 1, 2020, RBI has launched this money MANI app for visually impaired people. They can identify the denominations of currency names. So which denomination is it? It is 10 rupee no. 50 rupee no, 100 rupee no, 500, 1000, 2000, whatever is the denomination. So this app, they visually challenge people, they can identify the denomination of currency notes. Second is, next is, we come to page number 85, it's Aditya L1 ISRO's first solar mission. <clears throat> Aditya L1, first solar mission. Remember this name. What will this do? This will help scientists to study sun's corona. Sun's corona, what is corona here? It is outermost part of sun's atmosphere. Aditya L1 is ISRO's first solar mission. What will this do? This will help study the sun's corona. Corona is outermost part of sun's atmosphere. There will be six scientific payloads on this 400 kg satellite, it will be placed in the halo orbit near L1 point of Sun Earth system. It will be placed in halo orbit. Orbit, you know what it is. It's a curved path taken by a planet as it moves around other planets. Orbit, you know that. Okay. Next is ISRO DRD to sign MOU to provide critical technologies for human space mission. Sun's corona is outermost part of sun's atmosphere. And this, this Aditya L1, it is planned to be launched by the end of 2020. You can write down. This, this is planned to be launched by the end of 2020. Okay. <clears throat> Next is ISRO DRDO sign MOU to provide critical technologies for human space mission. ISRO is the Commerce Indian Space Research Organization. What is DRDO? It is Defense Research and Development Organization. So both are working together. They have signed MOU with Memorandum of Understanding. And they will provide work. work. DRDO will provide critical technology for ISRO's human space mission. Right? DRDO, Defense Research and Development Organization, will provide critical technologies to ISRO for its human space mission. What is human space mission? Mission where human will, uh, they will become part of the program. They will the space. Okay. Now what is critical technologies? It's it's a technology on which a system depends for its survival. Right? Critical technology the example has been given in the second paragraph such as second last line of second paragraph such as space crew health monitoring emergency survival kit space crew Parachutes for the crew modules, safe recovery, radiation measurement and protection. Right? Next is Chandrayaan 2 mission. You know this was happened on 22nd July 2019. But uh, due to some software glitch, it got failed. It could not reach its destination. Chandrayaan 2. What was the objective of this Chandrayaan 2? It aimed for enhancing our understanding of the moon, 
stimulate the advancement of technology, promote global alliances, and inspire a future generation of explorers and scientists to know the outermost atmospheric layer of the moon. Okay. Remember the date, 22nd July 2019. Chandrayaan mission took place, but due to some software glitch, it could not reach its destination. Next is Gaganyaan mission. This is the first made in human space mission. ISRO aims to launch first. Maiden, maiden means first human space mission, Gaganyan, before 75th anniversary of India's independence in 2020. So, Gaganyan mission will take place in 2022. What this uh, aims at, it aims to carry three people to space for seven days to orbit Earth and come back safely. Right, Gaganyan mission. Next is first indigenous high temperature fuel cell system launched. Indigenous means homemade. This was launched by our president, Mr. Arunath Kovin. Come to next. Digital census 2021. What is census? It is the official counting of people living in a country. It takes place every 10 years. Uh, uh, last it was held in 2011. Next is due in 2021. So it is planned to have a digital census. It means no more manual counting of people would be done. This will be done through a mobile app. Right? Next is CHC Farm Machinery, multilingual multi multi mobile app launch for farmers. CHC means Custom Hiring Services Center. CHC means Custom Hiring Services Center. This is uh, like a revolution in the, uh, in the sector of uh, agriculture. It's a boom for uh, farmers. For those uh, poor and marginal farmers, small farmers who could not afford the high tech machinery for agricultural purposes, so now machinery would be provided on rental basis to small farmers so that they can earn well. Right? So, CHC is the uh, this is the scheme called CHC farm machinery. Right. So, uh, next is first mobile science exhibition. This is the last first mobile science exhibition. Mobile means when you can't reach a uh, place, that place tries to reach at your doorstep. So, mobile science exhibition. Union State of uh, Minister of State for Culture Tourism, Pralat Singh Patel, flagged off a mobile science exhibition ban in Lake. This is the first van in Lake, mobile van, depicting a science exhibition. Before that, the country had a total of 23 exhibition vans. This year, 25 more vans have been added. Now it will be 48. Okay, so here. We are finishing our current topic. If you like to have a rapid question round, so we can start that if you are willing. I'm asking from the uh, from your PDF. Are you guys ready? So that we don't waste time, we just have See, presentation communication will be taking up tomorrow. The class starts at 1. Day after tomorrow, you will be having one hour class with me for your doubt clearing. And then you will be having, uh, I think, one and a half hours with ICSI guys 
they will be clearing your doubts regarding the examination. Okay. Aditya L1. I hope so. They are recorded sessions. Go to ICSI website. PDF is lying there. Please pick up from there. PDF to karna hi the syllabus you have got. What you have to do that. In addition, since it's a current affair topic, you guys should be, you know, awareness you must have this knowledge this is a current affair topic current affair examination so you have to be updated update yourself with the current happening the going around this book can give you limited information so shall we start i won't answer any question now i am asking question start writing your answers what was niti ayo ayo previously known as start writing if you really want me to have this planning commission good good and who who takes uh, the seat of chairman who takes the seat of chairman? PM. Yes. Don't write Modi. Don't write Modi. It's the PM. At that time, whosoever is the prime minister, he will take the chair. I had cleared that uh, before also. And what was when? What? Uh, when was it established? The planning commission. Date of establishment? 1950. Good. What was the objectives? In short, objective. What was the objective of planning commission? To make five-year plans, okay, for development, and see, look after the implementation part also, right? So, how many five-year plans uh, were made during this tenure? Twelve. Good. Then, what happened? When uh, Mr. Uh, when uh, Prime Minister Mr. Modi announced its closure, when? 2014-15 August. Good. Now, what is the new name of Planning Commission? New name of Planning Commission? Niti IA. Good. Niti IA. Okay. Now, who works as the think tank of Government of India? Think tank of Government of India, which is the youngest democracy's institution. Niti Ayo. Okay, good. When was RBI established? The day for, date of establishment of RBI. 1935. Initially, it was in which city? Initially, it was in which city? Calcutta. Then it moved to Mumbai. Okay. Originally, this was a dash owned bank, private owned bank. And after what? Uh, after what? This became the fully government. After nationalization of banks in forty nine, it became fully government owned bank. Good. Okay. What is the who is the governor of RBI? Scan has completed. Warning. Universal driver updater has detected outdated drivers which need to be updated immediately. Click on update all to get the latest drivers. Yes, Trishikan Das. Okay. Who is the deputy governor of RBI? Deva Brother Patra, Kali Amnikya. Good. Okay, what is the latest repo rate? Fast. 4%. What is the reverse repo rate? 
Converse regulate. 3.35. Okay, good. What is cash reserve ratio? Latest. 3%. Good. What is SLR? Statutory liquidity, liquidity ratio. It's 18.50. Good. Okay. When did SEBI came into existence? When did SEBI came into existence? In 12th April 92. Okay, good. Who is the chairperson, present chairman of uh, SEBI? Present chairman of SEBI, Ajay Tyagi. Okay, good. Which is the platform uh, where you can, the uh, investors can or brief parties can file online the grievances score good okay okay then what is cci full form of cci cci competition commission of india okay when it came into existence if you can remember the dates that's very nice 14th october 2003 how many members are there on the board of CCI? How many? Seven, including chairman. Good. There are seven members, including chairman. One chairman, six other members. Appointed by central government. Okay. Who is the chairperson of CCI? Yes, six plus one. Who is the chairperson of CCI? Ashok Kumar Gupta. Okay. What is the full form of IBBI? IBBI. Yes. IBBI. Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India. Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India. Good. <clears throat> Do you remember any latest cases uh, with respect to IBBA which they are taking uh, care of? Anil Ambani, Reliance. Okay. Or are they, are they actually looking after this, these cases? IBBI? Yes, Bank. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jamalaya Forever 21. Okay. Nira Modi. Mm -hmm. Jamalaya. Okay. Now, who is the chairperson of IBPI? Yes, Bank B. Yes. Who is the chairperson of IBPI? MS Sahu. Okay. What is UDIN? Full form of UDIN. Pass. UDIN. Unique. UDIN. Unique document identification number. UDIN. Unique document identification number. Now these uh, numbers uh, have been given or uh, this identification number would be given in respect of in respect of the alpha numeric yes given to practice in cs yes cs in practice that's important you have to remember that okay what is g7 g7 group of seven which all nations are there in group of seven can you name them? US, India. The present GSG7 members. It's not Global 7, it's Group of 7. Yes, India is still a, not a part of it. It may become part. Okay, when did Canada join Group 7? When did Canada join? 
in 76 when did russia join i don't have a set of questions i'm just asking randomly out from the syllabus when did russia join in 1998 but it got uh, suspended when russia got suspended in 2014 why why? What was the reason? Yes, it annexed Crimea from Ukraine. It took Crimea by force from Ukraine. So it was it got suspended from G7 countries. Why G7 was formed? What was the reason? Why G7? Why these group seven countries came together? Yes, oil crisis of 73. Remember that. Oil crisis of 73. Yes. So when when was the uh, summit? Uh, where did this uh, summit of 2019 took place? Where did summit of G7 2019 take place? In France. Yes. Where it will take place into 2020? In USA, yes. So Trump has a plan to expand this G7 to this group. From G7 to he has a plan to expand this the digital group of G7 to G10 or 11, which all countries would join if they if they get consensus of all the members, which all countries would join India. Yes, India, Russia, Australia, South Korea. They will join if all other G6 countries agree to it. South Korea, Australia, Russia, and India. Okay. What about G20? G20, group of 20. There are 20 members, right? So when did the last meeting of 20, 2019 meeting take place? Where did it take place? 2019, yes, Osaka, Japan. Where will 2020 meeting take place? 2020 meeting, Saudi Arabia, Riyadh. Yes. Where would 2022 meeting take place? In India. Yes, these dates are important. Please remember that. Okay. Mr. Mukesh Ambani is the CMD of Mr. Mukesh Ambani, CMD of Reliance. Pura naam bataiye. Tell the full name. Reliance Boss Sara. It's a big flagship company. Reliance what? Don't say Reliance only. The Reliance Industries, yes. Azim Premji is the chairman of Wipro. Who is the chairman of Aditya Birla Group? Kumar Mangalam Birla, yes. CEO of Apple Company. CEO of Apple Company, Tim Cook. Microsoft. Microsoft. Bill Gates. Who is CEO? Sundar Pichoi, Facebook CEO. Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. Two major events took place last year within US, with US. Howdy Modi Bear, Howdy Modi Bear. In Houston, yes. Another one. Another one in India, Namaste Trump. Where? Where? In Motera Stadium, Ahmedabad. Yeah. Okay. 
okay who is the md of world bank md of world bank no world bank i am World Yoga Day. World Yoga Day, medical thing. Yeah. Okay. How many regional offices RBI has in India? How many regional offices? RBI. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven is the right figure. Yes. Question, uh, which I think will definitely come on MSME. What is the full form of MSME? Yes, four regional, it's twenty-seven regional offices. MSME. What does M stands for? First M, micro. S, small. Third M, medium enterprises. Micro, small, and medium enterprises. MSME. They are a part of. which uh, drive or initiative they are a part of which drive or initiative atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan please i had to do this again so if the initiative drive of students they have been uh, promoted in hindi you have to use that if they have been promoted in hindi use that so This MSME, it's a part of Atma Nirbhar Bharat Abhiyan. Please remember that. Uh, what was the economic package which was announced for them? Twenty lakh crores. Okay. Now tell me the how much should be the investment and how much should be the turnover to become a micro enterprise? What should be the amount of investment? One crore and turnover. Turnover five crore for small enterprises. What should be the investment? Ten crores and turnover fifty crores. Good for medium investment should be for medium investment should be fifty and turnover should be turnover should be two fifty crores. Good. And how much? Uh, how much does MSME contribute to India's GDP? How much does MSME contribute to India's GDP? Twenty nine. Yeah, twenty nine thirty percent. And half of exports also. Okay. Now. Uh, There was a mega bank merger in two thousand nineteen. So, ten banks have merged into four. Now there are total number of PSBs, public sector banks, are twelve. Earlier this was earlier this was twenty seven. Good. Okay. You have to remember the name of the bank. And the banks which have amalgamated into, like in PNB, if you remember, which all banks have merged into amalgamated into PNB, OBC and UBI. Okay, and in Canara Bank, it's the syndicate bank. Yes, UBI, Andhra Bank and Corporation, then Indian Bank, Andhra Bank has got merged into. And then that. Okay. Now, State Bank of India has revised some service charges with effect from October one, two thousand nineteen. This is with respect to cash withdrawal and minimum balance deposits and withdrawals. Okay. 
revise its service charges with respect to cash withdrawal, average monthly balance, AMB, deposit, and withdrawal. Right? Then RBI has restricted PMC banks operation. PMC is what? Punjab and Maharashtra Bank operation for six months. Good. With respect to lending and withdrawal by the customer. Now ICIC has opened how many branches in 2019? 450. Now the total number of branches is 5,000. Now there is an abolition of DDT, dividend distribution tax and concessional corporate tax. DDT. So what uh, provisions have been uh, exerted now for DDT, abolition of dividend distribution tax. The shareholders have to pay DDT, not not the company. Yeah. Now, what's the concessional corporate tax for new companies? It is the tax rate is fifteen percent, and for existing companies, it is twenty-two percent. Good. Okay. Who is the minister of corporate affairs? What is the full form of Nirvi? Nirvi. Full form. Yes. Niryat. Rin. Vikas. Yes. Yoji. Niryat. Rin. Vikas. Yojana. Okay. Mm -hmm. There are certain sample questions have been given after every chapter. Uh, please do that also. Do not leave that. What is the full form of CSR? Corporate social responsibility. And what a percentage of profits they have to contribute towards this 2% of 2% of average net profit in past three years. And uh, which companies come under the uh, this mandatory contribution? Companies which have which have how much net worth? Net worth having five hundred crores. Turnover having one thousand crores. Or net profit five crores or more. Now, J and K has been uh, divided into two duties now. One is J, K and Vikas. Jammu Kashmir and Vikas. Okay. Who is the BJP's 11th president? National president? J.P. Nagar. Deputy Governor Harvey, you told me it's Deva Prata Patra. And who is the first who has been appointed as Queen's Council? Queen's Council, Harish Salve. Yes. How many judges have been appointed? Additional judges have been appointed in Supreme Court. Four. What number of the judges is? 34. Including? Including CGI. Good. Principal Secretary to PM. 
yes, thirty-one percent. So, H. P. K. Mishra, who is the CEO of IBM. Arvind Krishna, yes. So, Nirvik is the scheme for. Nirvik, what is the purpose of Nirvik scheme? Yeah. To to give higher export credit disbursement. Yeah. To help the exporters. Yeah. Nirvik. Then there is one Vivatsa Vishwas. There is one scheme where. Yes, I export trade scheme. Good. The word say Vishwas. What is the scheme? <clears throat> they don't have to pay. No, they have to pay. It's not waiver from disputed tax. They have to pay only the amount of disputed tax, not any interest or uh, penalty on that. Okay. Then National Textile Mission. What are te technical textiles? National Technical Textile Mission. What are technical textiles? Can you give me the example of technical textiles? Non-aesthetic. Yes. PPT kits are there. Yeah. Space suits. Heat radiation bulletproof suits. How many approximately? How many PPTs we are making every day? Three lakhs. Three lakhs. Yeah. What is Omid launched by the Ministry of Health? Omid scheme. U M M I D. U stands for unique. Yes. M is for method. Unique method. Yeah, unique method of management and treatment of inherited disorders. Me, this is to tackle inherited genetic diseases of newborn baby. So, me full form is important. Then there is Kisan Man Dhan. Yes, Kisan Man Dhan Yojana. What is it about? Man Dhan Yojana. This is a scheme of pension for for farmers, yes, small and marginal farmers. So, how much is the amount they will be getting per month? Three thousand. Yes, good. Then, Pradhan Mantri Lagu Vyapari Mandan Scheme. This is a scheme again of pension for small traders. Those who are having turnover, GST turnover below. Below one point five crore, they can apply for this, right? Then there is a NEET artificial intelligence learning scheme. What does NEET stands for? What does NEET stand NEET stand for? National Education. Alliance for Technology. Yes, this this is important. Then there was the first World Youth Conference for Kindness. This is Governance and Ethics. First World Youth Conference for Kindness. Where did it happen? At New Delhi. By whose mission was this or project was this? Who initiated this? No. No, no, no. UNICEF, M G I E P, Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Education for Peace. This is what was the purpose? What was the purpose of this? To impart virtues like empathy, kindness, and you know, all into our youth, right? Not to promote good corporate governance, 
Akansha, this is for kindness. To inspire our youth, empower, enable them to transform themselves, build long-lasting peace in their community. This is for ethics. To develop ethics within themselves. You need ethics to live in the society. Right? Then there was a ban of e-cigarettes by Mr. Modi. Then number 21 bankruptcy. Which fashion chain got bankrupt or they have applied for bankruptcy? Fashion chain forever 21. Then, uh, Bani's, which junk is going to close? Anil Ambani, which? business is going to close. Reliance Capital. Earlier, earlier also, it was Reliance Communication two years ago. Right? <clears throat> Who is IAF's chief, Indian Air Force chief? Indian chief's name is the Army chief, Indian Air Force and Navy. Tino Chief Okay. Badiria, yes. Now coming to the, uh, yes, which is the apex court of India? Supreme Court. We have three tier structure. India is a federal country. We have three tier structure. Is that true? Supreme Court, court and subordinate courts, yes. Yeah. About talking about the constitution of Supreme Court, uh, how many total number of judges we just uh, just someone of those thirty four, including CGI. Now, who appoints the judges of Supreme Court and the CGI? Who appoints president? Yes. How many high courts are there in India? How many high courts are there in India? 25 high courts, yes. Then administrative tribunals, Aji Padahami. What it looks after? Whose grievances do, does it take? Whose grievances, the appellate tribunal, uh, uh, administrative tribunals, government servants, union and state government, yes. Then, what does NCLT stand for? Full form of NCLT. National Company Law Tribunal. Tribunal means? Yes. Tribunal means? Yes. Where you can go against the order of NCLT? Where you can apply? NCLT. It's National Company Law Appellate Tribunal. Okay. Then, what is the world's greatest country? Bhutan. It has got how much percentage of forest cover? 70%. Which is known as the carbon negative country. Yes. Okay. So Bhutan has introduced sustainable development fee. How much is that? 
1200 per day Bhutanese currency. For, for, for which nationals? For which nation? Who is coming from? India, Malaysia and, sorry, India, Maldives and Bangladesh. India, Maldives, Bangladesh. From July 2020. Now, where, uh, where has Supreme Court relocated, passed the order to relocate African cheetah? Where? Kuno National Park. Where it is? MP in Madhya Pradesh. Okay. When do we celebrate World Ozone Day? 16th September. What is ozone layer? What is ozone layer? Yes, it protects from UV rays of sun. Yes. Okay. What was the theme of World Ozone Day 2019? What was the theme? 32 years and healing. This was to commemorate Montreal Protocol. Not 22 years, it's 32 years and healing. Okay, who started Swachta Hi Seva? All uh, uh, initiatives drives related to Swachta cleanliness have, have, been, they have been initiated by Mr. Naidu. So then there, when was, uh, When did India impose nationwide ban on single-use plastic? October 2, 2019. A big uh, day or occasion. 150th anniversary, birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. And what is the resolution by which year we will make India free of single-use plastic 2022. Okay, then what is the full form of Saral? Saral. Launch of Saral. State. Rooftop. Solar. Attractiveness. Index. Which state uh, has ranked first in this attractive? Yes, Karnataka. Good. And what are the other second, third, fourth state? Telangana, second. Gujarat, third. AP, AP, fourth. Okay. Now, which app has been introduced by SEBI for? Visually blind people, visually disabled, sorry, money app. What they can do with this app? They can identify denominations of currency. Denominations, whether it's a 10 rupee denomination, you understand? 10 rupee, 15 rupee, the denomination. They can identify or recognize the denominations. Now, what is uh, which is ISRO's first solar mission. What is the name of ISRO's first solar mission? Aditya L1. Okay, good. When, when it will be launched? Aditya L1. It's not only one, it's Aditya L1. 20, end of 2020. Okay. Now, what will, uh, how this is going to help scientists? Aditya L1. How this is going to help scientists to study sun's corona. What is sun's corona? What is sun's corona? It's the outermost part of or layer of sun's atmosphere. Right? Where will it be placed? Aditya L1. Where will it be placed? In halo orbit. Okay, halo orbit near L1 point of Sun Earth system. Right? 
then there is this uh, MOU signed between ISRO and DRDO. DRDO. What is the MOU about? ISRO and DRDO have signed MOU to provide critical technology for human space mission. Now, who is providing critical, critical technology? Providing. DRDO. The uh, chief of ISRO. Who is the chief of DRDO? Okay, check that. Then there was Chandra Mission 2, Chandrayaan 2 mission. When did it take place? Chandrayaan 2 mission in 2019. Did it reach its destination? No. Why? There was some software glitch. Okay. What was the purpose of Chandrayaan 2 mission? Yes, technical or software. What was the purpose of Chandrayaan 2 mission? Yeah, understanding. Okay, no sound for nothing. Yeah, okay, no study. Then there is Gaganyan mission. When it will take place? Gaganyan mission 2022. How many people will go on this mission? Three humans for how many days? Seven days. What will they do? They'll orbit Earth. Okay. Yeah. Digital census. 2021. How? Uh, what is the gap between two censuses? What is the gap between two censuses? Ten years. Yes. Okay. And uh, what is the you know, latest about this 2021 census? How it's going to take place? It will be mobile app or it will be a digital census. What is CHC farm machinery? CHC stands for CHC Custom Hiring Service Center CHC. What is the purpose? What it will uh, do to farmers? How farmers are going to benefit by this? To lend machinery to farmers on rental basis. Yes, they don't have to buy. This is to help small and marginal farmers that they can get uh, these uh, high tech machineries on rental basis and all the CHCs they will be located within the 50 kilometers 50 kilometers of their area right then there's first mobile science exhibition where was it first mobile science exhibition in May how many mobile vans already uh, running 23 now, the 25 have been added, so the total number is 48. So, this was the uh, quick division, rapid questions also. You guys could give an answer to all the questions. That was really nice. That means you are fully prepared now. Uh, I wish you all the best for this. And, uh, as much information as you can acquire. Please do that. 
I hope you like it. Yes. So tomorrow we'll meet for uh, this presentation and communication skills. We'll tell you the format. We'll try to tell you the format. Otherwise, on the website you can check there are mock tests are given. Please do that. Mock tests are given. Please do that. Okay. Ever watch is not there now. If there must be given some information on that and the rest of your questions you can ask from ICC guys on uh, 21st. You are having an online session with them. You can ask their doubts, uh, your doubts from them. Okay. Uh, tomorrow we'll, we'll talk about communication and presentation. Right. Thank you so much. Please. Start studying. It's high time now. Gather as much information as you can from your surroundings. Okay. So that's for today. Thank you so much.